Lovely. Uh, Jaden, I just want to talk about that exceptional run that led to the goal on, on Saturday. Uh, talk me through the goal because it was absolutely rapid up the pitch, wasn't it? Yeah, so when the ball broke to me like the way it did, I only had one thing in mind. Coming on, the gaffer spoke to me said, um, we need to use your pace and, and stuff. So yeah, when the ball fell like that, it was just a no-brainer to, to get going. Mm. Of course, in the Forest Academy, you've grown up playing on some excellent playing surfaces. The, the one at Halifax, of course, it was in doubt whether the game was going to go ahead. It did go ahead. Do you, do you struggle to play on surfaces like that? Because you made it look very easy on Saturday. Uh, no, nah, it's, it's football. Like As a kid, when you grow up, you're on pictures like that all the time. So you, as a kid, you're used to it. But football, you just have to get on with it. Um, they done well to get the game on. So it was good. It's been such a disruptive year already, hasn't it, with, with games being postponed left, right and centre for COVID and for weather. Has it been frustrating for you as a footballer to not, not know if the next game's going to go ahead all the time? Well, I mean, not frustrating, but because you want, as a footballer, you want to play every game and you want to play as often as you can. But with circumstances as is COVID and weather, it's out of anyone's control. So we just have to get on with it and, and just prepare for every game like it's going to go ahead anyway. You're one of a few very quick players in the Notts County squad. Would you say you're the quickest? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's, there's a, there's a not few. Experimented with. <laughs> there's a few contenders. There's a few contenders. Who, if you were, if you were to pit yourself in 100 meters, who do you think would be your biggest competition in the Notts squad? Uh, I think as. Um, who else? Brins. Uh, yeah, Brins. Brins's techniques is very good. So yeah, Brins. So it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a close one in Fairlight. Yeah, and there is others, there is others, just not off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wonder what you've made of your development since you've been at, at Knotts, really, over the last few months in terms of the training and uh, how you feel that you've settled into the club. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's a completely different environment to um, 23s and the coaching staff here have, have helped me develop in ways that you wouldn't necessarily get at um, 23s level. So... The development's been good, like fitting in with the boys has been good, so I can't complain. The way that Notts set up and, and play uh, is very similar uh, to that of Nottingham Forest, of course, where you've come from. I mean, how closely are you watching Forest at the moment, given the style that they play in and watching a play like Jed Spence as well? I mean, how much does watching a play like that kind of inspire you to want to go back to Forest and fulfil that position? Yeah, like I said, it's literally watch every game, it's around the corner, so I'll go and watch. And with them playing the same formation, I do have an eye on Jed and watching and learning all the time. So it's good that I've come here and we play a similar system, similar way, so that if I do go back, when I do go back, I can just implement it straight away. Mm. It feels like a really important time for Knotts once uh, you know, you've know you got Dover, of course, and then a couple of home games, and then into March playing some of the, the teams in and around you at the top of the division. Uh, how well prepared do you and the squad feel going into that run of fixtures? Yeah, well, after the, the last two games, we were really high spirits. And as always, it's, it's, we've got to take each game by game. And if we do that, I, f I have really strong beliefs that we can, we can push and keep pushing.